What's up guys, Zerga is here bringing you guys some COD 4 gameplay and a little ComCom -com following. Uh, <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys in forever and normally when I haven't talked to you guys forever I usually get, hit you guys up with like an update video where I tell you guys what I've been doing and why I've been so inactive and all that good stuff. What's going on in my life and work and I didn't want to do that this commentary. I'll save that for my next video. Uh, but yes, I've been very, very busy. Uh, but I did want to do this commentary and touch on a couple things, one being Black Ops 3, my thoughts. Uh, we saw the reveal, and I've had people tweeting at me, messaging me. I've been b bumping in random people in games of Call of Duty, and they're all asking me, you know, what's your thoughts on Black Ops 3? And I really haven't given any opinion whatsoever. Uh, so I wanted to touch on that in this commentary. Uh, first thing I want to touch on, though, was uh, there's a, a giveaway right now with Control Freaks, and the link will be in the description if you guys want to check that out. They're giving away some Xbox One, some Control Freaks for the One, uh, some controllers, a bunch of cool shit. So, like I said, the link to that will be in the description. You guys should check that out. Uh, make sure you get signed up for that giveaway. And I am also going to be giving away uh, my own Black Ops 3 Xbox One Control Freaks because I don't have an Xbox One anymore. I sold that piece of shit. And now i got to go buy another one so I can play the beta. It's a long story. But anyway, I am going to be giving away my... Control Freaks for the Xbox One controller, and I'm going to be doing that in a triple headshot challenge probably the day after tomorrow. I haven't decided what Call of Duty it's going to be on. It'll probably be like COD 4, Black Ops 1. It's going to be an old school kind type of triple headshot challenge. It's not going to be no Modern Warfare crap. It's going to be something a little bit more difficult for you guys. Like Black Ops 1, the accuracy of the like the L9 was terrible. Was, was, you know, you had to deal with the sway. Uh, COD 4 is a little bit more smoother, but it'll require a reg scope or something. Like I said, I haven't figured it all out, but I'll tweet it out the morning before I do it. Probably going to be the day after tomorrow, like I said. And we're going to have some fun, man. I'm going to record you guys going for the Triple Headshot Challenge. We'll give those control freaks away, and I might do a little something extra. So, there you go. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me about the Moam. I do have all the clips together. I just got to get an editor to get start on it, and we'll be good to go there. So, no release date for that. Uh, personally, I'm recording for my big montage at the end of the year in October that I usually do. Normally it's uh, you know a single game base, whether it be like the Matrix, Defib, whatever. Uh, this year I decided I want to do a multi-COD montage in October that just incorporates as many Call of Duties as I can get. I've already played over half of them. I'm thinking about getting in some Modern Warfare 2, maybe Modern Warfare 3. I haven't really decided. I just never was a big fan of that, which leads me to Black Ops 3, which is my favorite developer, Treyarch. Uh, as far as this game is looking, I think it looks badass. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Treyarch has always been my favorite. It used to be Infinity Ward with you know, the release of COD 4. I thought Modern Warfare 2 was pretty cool until after I started playing it for a while. Modern Warfare 3 was, uh, was kind of iffy for me. I enjoyed it. It was fun to do the Matrix on, but it's not one of the games that if you ever notice, I don't go back and play Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 hardly ever. So, uh, Sledgehammer kind of just straight out the gate kind of killed it for me with all the jumping around, the boosting uh, from uh, Advanced Warfare. I mean, it, it, it's fun at first, but I mean, it just completely destroyed all my controllers, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it kind of pissed me off. But uh, I did get a lot of cool clips for that, so that's going to be going in the mixtage. All my Advanced Warfare clips. I got like 40 or 50 just from Advanced Warfare, and that's before the patch, so... Um, but Black Ops 3 looks amazing. I tweeted David Vondahar and I told him, I said, man, when are we going to get a sniper rifle that shoots like a rail and, you know, sticks people across the map to a wall or something, you know, like a railgun sniper rifle? And he replied back, which is cool, and he said that, uh, you know, the, the, the new bow is pretty much going to do that. I'm not going to call it a crossbow because it's not a crossbow, but uh, little things like that are pretty cool. He said, you know, the C4 is not going to be able to be uh, blown up until it hits the ground, which is cool. I don't know if that'll nerf the C4 shot or not. I don't know if it's still going to be explosive or if it just can be triggered by the user before it hits the ground, but it's kind of cool that they're doing little things to help the game. I've always thought that C4 was always fine as far as, you know, how far you could throw it and all that good stuff. I just think it needed a little bit of a damage tweak, just like the EMP grenade. I didn't have a problem with the EMP grenade from Black Ops 2. I just thought it, it, it should not have been able to go through walls or take out multiple equipment. If it could take out like one piece of equipment and it you know, acted kind of more or less like a stun grenade, okay, I know people are gonna say, well that's not fair because it's pretty much a stun grenade. Okay, so 
let it let it take out multiple things but not go through walls you see what i'm saying there's like ways to balance it and i'm hoping that that's what they did in black ops 3 i think everything so far looks amazing and i can't wait to see the beta so i will see you guys later that's it i'm out deuces